Hey, welcome back to the channel. We got the grapple on the other day. I got some fluid in the back of the tires. Got the tiller on the back for some ballast. We're gonna try to clean this up. Over the next uh, few days, we're gonna be cleaning all this fence row up back to the big, f or the fence back there, the metal fence. And if she can aim up at the big tree, we're gonna take that big uh, white oak down. It had, it's pretty rotten. It's got, it's rotten in the center and it's starting to drop some limbs out. And there's some big dead limbs on it right now that I hope don't fall on my head while we're working under it. Uh, we are going to uh, get started here and just play with this grapple. Now I will say real quick that we did put the longer hose on the uh, left, I'll just go ahead and say the left connection. And the one that we put on originally, the right connection or the right hose is still, or it's too short now because this tractor will really fold down. Like when you're dumping a bucket, it will really go straight down. So that was a very mis uh, expensive mistake on my part uh, because these hoses are not cheap. So if you do put a grapple on, make sure that you have your hoses long enough on the front. All right, let's get started. What I'm gonna do is take the tractor, start it up, put it in four wheel drive low range, and let's just see what this thing's made of. I am in no way an expert on grapple, but the guy who makes this, uh, Tim from WorkSaver, he is an expert, and he gave me some uh, pointers on this particular type of clamshell uh, grapple and how to use it properly. So I'm going to crank it up here, and we'll show you what he, what he told us. So if you're going to try to clear, you're going to set your grapple down, and you're going to hold, uh, keep, basically you're going to want the teeth just to be barely raking the ground. And that's going to break some roots and clear some stuff out. Now, if you just want to pick up something, you're going to take your grapple and you're going to pull it back so that the front teeth are actually off the ground and it's going to slide across about an inch. So now when we go forward, it's just going to like act like a skid and skis. You might have to feel, feel your way through this. I got a root right off the bat. So we'll try that again. Like I said, I'm no expert. So now we're, we got a root. See, that's kind of, it's just kind of skidding across. There's another root right there. All right. Now that we've got it kind of skidded, we can pick all this stuff up. And it just cleaned the ground. Now you can also do something if you want to shake it. Rev it up a little bit so your hydraulics move a little faster. You can go back and forth and really loosen a lot of the, or get rid of a lot of the loose dirt. There, a big, big chunk of dirt come out. So now we've pretty much just picked up loose stuff. Let's do this one more time. We're gonna go all the way back. Barely have the touch of the ground. Got to clean that to make that. All right, we'll try something else. What I'm gonna do now is go all the way back, rotate it all the way back, and then I'm gonna push forward and put it in the float position. Let me open the grapple up. So now it's in the float position. Let's see what happens. Nah, that's not gonna work, I don't think. That still wants to dig in, but if we just barely let it scoot across the ground like this, it really cleans up. Not digging in. Lord, I hope the oh God keep that big dead limb up there falling on my head. All right, the next thing that Tim talked about was basically keeping the teeth down just a, maybe an inch down. So you're gonna break some roots. You're gonna keep it not, not all the way back, but down where the cutting edge is. 
and you just want to skim the surface. This is not meant to dig. However, it will take a root out of the ground. I've run a lot of dozers in my life. I've run a lot of uh, track back holes and bigger stuff, but I've never messed with the grapple before. Uh, a lot of bucket loaders. This is a new one for me. Now, I added that fluid in the back tires, and I tell you, I can tell that too. It's got a big old roof. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and clamp down on it. Pick it up. I was in the Army, I was a warrant officer, and there's kind of a running joke in the Army. The warrant officers are kind of, they specialize in one field for their entire career, and that's what I did. I specialized in maintenance. And there's this kind of a running joke that goes, when you hear a warrant officer say, hey, y'all watch this, you better run. So hey, y'all watch this. You guys know that we've been uh, we're going to be demoing this uh, TYM T264 on the channel and I have been itching to try this backhoe so we're going to see how strong it is because it has a dual hydraulic pump on this tractor just like my little one but this thing's quite a bit stronger so we're going to play with it see what happens if we don't get rained out. We'll go right there put some brakes on. Yesterday, I was being trying to be funny. I said, uh, you know what happens when you hear a warrant officer say, here, watch this, you better run. No more than I got the words out of my mouth, it come a, a thunderstorm where it was like one sprinkle and then buckets were pouring out of the sky. So Tanya had to run the camera back in the house real fast to keep it from getting wet because this particular camera, our big camera, is not completely waterproof. So anyway, day two, try to. If you look up, it's, it is about... 
unbelievably hot today and humid and sticky about 90 degrees with a heat index of over 100 already it is so sticky uh, so I'll, you look around and there's clouds everywhere so I don't know if it's gonna flare up again today or not so anyway back to this we're gonna take the uh, TYM uh, T264 and we're gonna try this out and dig these uh, stumps up here I've never used this back before matter of fact the buckets not even scratched yet So this will be the first look at it. I have no uh, reason to believe that it's not gonna be awesome, but here we go All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run the the throttle up to about 1500 maybe 1400 rpm. You really don't need any kind of throttle on this tractor uh, as far as how much or the hydraulics because the hydraulics are so good Let's get back here and set this thing up. All right, here we go. First time using this. See if we can dig these roots up a little bit. Boy, it's quick. Well, let's get in here and see if we can snag a root. with this one for sure trying not to get them big roots for that tree there I'm cutting it down anyway but see if I can get behind that one all right we just ripped that one tree right out of the ground oh I don't want to hit my camera got another camera on the other side sizable tree right there so this is a 20 that or uh, 2,000 rpm let's see if it's any stronger it's already strong as can be I don't think it's any stronger I think it's just faster there's another big old giant root right there see what we can do with this that, that iron roots all mixed in with that white oak and I mean it is tough These other ones won't be so hard. That dude was wrapped around all these uh, big old giant roots of this wide oak here. I don't know if these are going to be as difficult as not. I don't even know what that tree is. Let's 
clean this up. We'll take the little tractor over here and we'll come in and clean all this up and try to clean around this so we can actually see what we got to work with. All right, let me park it. What I've done is you went ahead and took the backhoe and dug that one tree up. That thing was brutal hard to dig up because all of those roots, which would have been in by itself a formidable root ball, was tied in around these big wide oak roots who were at least, you know, six, eight, maybe 12 inches in diameter in places. So we got that one out. So what we're gonna do now is take Rufus, and we decided on Rufus for our tractor name. Uh, and we're gonna take Rufus here, and we're gonna go around and uh, uh, clean up everything. There's another root ball here that's probably every bit of uh, a foot and a half around diameter of mixtures of trees. So what we're gonna do is clean around it so we can see what's there, uh, and then make a decision how we're gonna tackle that. I have seen uh, a lot of videos on YouTube, and I wanna give credit where credit's due. I watch a lot of Tractor Time with Tim, and Tim has had a grapple for years, and I have watched him through multiple videos use his grapple to do multiple things with his uh, his John Deere 125R. And uh, you know, I, I just wanna give you, like I said, credit where it's due. I have learned a lot from him, and Tim, if you're watching this, I appreciate you, buddy. So what I'm gonna do now is roll this thing back as far as it'll go and kind of scoot along here and try to pick up this trash without digging in any roots. There's nothing my, my little roofers here is gonna have for that big wide oak. Now look at that big giant. See that big giant poison ivy root? I'm gonna get over there and rub all over that now. Nope, I didn't close the clamp all the way. See, that's a rookie mistake. All right, now it's closed. Got this tree in my neighbor's yard over here. He's a good neighbor, but I'm sure he don't want my tree in his yard, so I'm gonna get this out. All right, grapple's closed all the way. Let's see what we'll do. Look at that. gum tree. No tree expert, that's obvious. Dirt, 
So this is my first time using this grapple. So we're gonna call this video done and I'll show you guys, I guess I'll call it a part two where we finish this up when it's not storming and raining on me. I'm gonna go get out of the rain cause I, I don't wanna melt. Hey, I really appreciate what you're doing, uh, watching our channel. Woo, nice big thunder there. Uh, I really appreciate what you're doing, uh, watching our channel. I thank you very much. Uh, if you like what we do, hit that thumbs up. If you really like what we do, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That bell notification will let you know when we put out something new. God bless and have a great day. Stay healthy.